In this video, I will show you how to cancel a private server on Roblox. And if this video does help you out today, please consider dropping down below the video, leaving a like on the video, and also consider subscribing to the channel. I really do appreciate it. With that being said, let's jump straight into the tutorial. So as you can see, I'm here and I'm currently on Roblox.com and I'm currently logged into my account, as you can see up here in the top right hand corner. So to actually find your private servers, what you're going to want to do to cancel a private server, you're going to want to find them first of all. So you want to come to this menu on the left hand side and what you want to do is click onto the inventory tab. So this is going to take you across to a page like this. Now there's a menu here with a lot of different things you can click on under categories and what you want to do is just scroll down a bit and you'll see private servers down here. So what you want to do is scroll onto that and then click onto my private servers. So what it's going to do is display a list of all your current private servers and ones you may have had previously. You can see I've got one set up here called Tech Tutor Server. So from here, what you're going to want to do is locate the private server that you're going to want to cancel and go ahead and give that a click. Next, all you want to do is just scroll down a bit. Now you can see this private server was actually free. I didn't actually pay to create this private server for this certain experience. But some you do have to pay in Robux to create a private server. So the steps are kind of the same if you've got like a free or a private server that you've paid for. But what you want to do is come down to this section and you want to click onto the three dots up here in the top right hand corner of this section. And then just go ahead and click on to configure. So it's going to say something slightly different. So for the purpose of this one, because you, as you can see, this one is was free. It didn't cost me anything to make this private server for this experience. What we're going to do is just uncheck this box here, which says allow join in. And as you can see, it says disabling this makes the private server inaccessible for you and other users that you have invited to this private server. And it does invalidate the current link code. So what it effectively does, it does actually cancel the server. Of course, you can come back in and you can reactivate the private server at any time. But to cancel this server, all we're going to do is just take that to cross it off. Now, if you've actually paid for a private server, it's going to be similar. But instead of saying allow joining, it's going to say something like subscription status. And all you want to do again is going to be a little button like this that you click next to it. And what will happen is you will have access to the private server until you're due to be billed next. And then, of course, what will happen happen is you won't be billed and the private server will be cancelled. So I hope this tutorial helped out today and if it did I'd really appreciate it if you was to drop down below the video leave a like and also consider subscribing to the channel. With that being said I just want to take a moment to thank you guys for watching this video and I will see you in the next tutorial.